What's going on guys? Swing coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're going to hop into ranked seasons with an all lefty team build. I'm on a huge losing streak in ranked seasons by the way guys. So I'm hoping we can break that here today as well. Hopefully we don't face a lefty starter. We're going for 123 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. Getting closer and closer to 36,000 subscribers. Feel free to comment down below if you guys want to see me do a spending spree and get closer to get, getting those collections done. I'm thinking what I want to do is do a spending spree. Try to get as many Many collections done as possible and then also do a live series team build so let me know if that's kind of something you guys would be interested in seeing feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the fortnite channel on the road to 2,000 subscribers down in that description this is the team that we're rocking with you guys can see the lineup in the bench and then we also have the rotation and the bullpen let's go ahead hop into this game face a right-handed pitcher get the win and break our losing streak okay thank the lord we're not facing a, a left-handed starter he has 99 tony Gwynn, 96 evan longoria 94 gallo 99 ricky christian yellow Omar Vizquel, 97, 95 Russell Martin, 99 Morgan, and then 95 Adam Wainwright on the mound. Hey, that's kind of cool. Two Cardinals signature series on the mound. We have Rick Ankiel on the mound, and uh, let's go ahead and try to win this game. Omar Vizquel grabbing the, I think it's the first base hit of the game. I think we're in the top of the second with two down, and I think that's the first hit. I don't, I don't think I allowed one in the, uh, in the top of the first inning, and I don't think I got, I did not get one in the bottom of the first. So we're going to try to get out of this so far. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing too special is happening in the lefty game. Rick A and Keel doing pretty solid on the mound for me. And uh, I think I had like two outs and then a strike. And I struck out with Joey Gallo, man. I think my opponent threw me five sinkers in the at-bat. Uh, I think it was nothing but sinkers, and I ended up striking out on one. And uh, I'm just hoping we can get to the bottom of the second inning without allowing a run. And there we go, getting Russell Martin to strike out. Okay, bottom of the second, here we come. Still looking for my first hit as well. And ball four to my pitcher. There we go, Rick Ankiel drawing a walk. I was really hoping, I'm sorry, I, I was spacing out a little bit. I was really hoping, oh my goodness. I've been, I've, been, I've been impatient this game, first of all. I'll let you guys know that. That's one reason I don't have a hit is I've been way too impatient. Um, but I was hoping Rick Ankiel would get a hittable pitch and I could try to get a home run with him. As Tony Gwynn... A little bit early, too. My timing's off, and I've just overall been impatient. As Tony Gwynn destroyed. No doubt about that one. Let's go. My first hit of the game is a big one. Center field. No doubt. Two-run shot from Tony Gwynn as we take a lead here. Let's go. Exactly what we needed. Kyle Schwarber. Outside pitch. Two down. Going the other way. It's gone. Yo, what the heck? Okay. Okay, so Ichiro just destroyed a no-doubt homer. There's back-to-back -back home runs. Oh, man. Oh, no, that was Rick Ankiel. Rick Ankiel. Bruh. My pitcher just hit a home run. I thought it was Ichiro for some reason. Yo, Rick Ankiel, guys, my pitcher just hit a no-doubter. That makes me so happy. Okay. Um... So, one thing that I want to ask is, in this video, you guys just saw it, so it's, it's fresh in y'all's minds, and feel free to rewind it if you guys want to, but for the Schwarber home run, even though I didn't know it was a home run from the beginning, I still made it for the home run music and edit at the same time and showed the distance. Now, would you guys rather have... It changed for the edit right when I realized it's a home run, or do you guys are you guys okay with that? Because it's, it's, it was only like three or four seconds at most where you guys knew it was a home run and I didn't. So I feel like it doesn't necessarily ruin things if I put the edit in there, but I'm just curious to see if you guys care, right? So the easiest way for me to explain it in case that didn't make sense is on my home run edits, I put it right when the camera angle showed the ball in play. Now, I didn't realize it was a home run until it actually went over the wall and was a home run. And I'm curious, would you guys want to see the edit where it was in this video or when I realized it's a home run? I feel like I just said the exact same thing, but I, I, I hope it made at least a little bit more sense because I think I had my thoughts together a little bit better for that second time saying it. But Rick Ankiel, man, back-to-back -back homers. And Rick Ankiel's was the second one. His swing kind of looked like each row, so he's a little bit shorter. Uh, I think both of them are like six feet tall. It's not like they're short. But uh, I thought it was Ichiro. And Rick Ankiel just hits a dinger, man. That makes me so happy. Our opponent brings in a lefty. If you guys saw the Ranked Seasons video earlier today, I had 
a four run lead or maybe a little bit more than a four run lead or maybe maybe a little bit less it, it was it, it was a three or four run lead and I choked it so I'm really hoping we don't choke it it's gonna be tough for me to get runs now because I've been struggling as it is this game to get runs and I'm really hoping I can get some more insurance runs but I'm really hoping I can continue to pitch how I've been pitching we've only allowed one base hit and just in case I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some relievers right now we can do I guess Andrew Miller and Brett Cecil. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to try out some different guys or use guys that maybe I wouldn't normally have in my bullpen like that. Johnny Venters or the Billy Wagner card. But we are nine outs away from winning this game. Let's try to get some more insurance runs. Joey Gallo so far. 0 for 2 today. Looking for his first base hit here in this game. Duke Snyder of the middle. There we go. Lead off base hit. Bottom of the seventh inning. Rick Ankiel throwing a one hitter, guys. Seven innings. Shutout baseball. Only one hit allowed. I'm pretty proud of Rick Ankiel. And he has a home run today. That's pretty sick. Kyle Seeger coming up. Corey Seeger on deck. Kyle Seeger popping out. Let's see if Corey Seeger could do anything a little bit differently. Ooh. Corey Seeger. End of the outfield. Yo, I thought it was going to be a double play. I'm not going to lie. I imagine there's only... there's uh, Imagine there's two outs, so there's no way it would have been a double play, but... I thought it was going to be an out. Yeah, there's only one down. I thought it was going to be an out for sure. Kyle Schwarber coming up to bats. Two on, one down, facing Josh Hader, the lefty on the mound here. And striking out Kyle Schwarber. So Rick Ankiel coming up, guys. His, uh, his second at bat of the game, third plate appearance. He has a walk and a home run. Looking to stay perfect. I wouldn't mind a second homer here. Not at all. And striking out Rick Ankiel, man. Oh, I just, oh, I wanted to hit a home run. I was way too impatient because I wanted to hit a home run. Let's see if he can still dominate on the mound. Only one hit allowed, starting his eighth inning of work here, facing Christian Yelich. Yelich, wow, first batter of the eighth inning. Home run, solo shot. Okay, that sucks. Joe Morgan, two down here in the inning. His second home run of the inning, wow. The third hit I've given up this game, the second home run. And the second home run of the inning. Oh, man. Yo, that's not good, guys. Cutting the lead in half. I gotta, I gotta start making some better pitches. Both of those were nearly down the middle, though. Just some, some hang, not hanging breaking balls. The, the one to Yelich was a sinker, kind of down the middle. That one was a change of pretty much down the middle. And uh, we're gonna keep, Rick, we're, we're gonna keep Rick Ankiel in for a little bit longer, and uh, see if we can get himself out of this. Oh man, Tony Gwynn grabs one of those runs right back. First pitch we see in the bottom of the eighth inning. We smack a dinger. There we go. And he hits Ichiro. Ichiro's on base for the first time this game. Joey Gallo coming up, looking to get on base for the first time for himself. Joey Gallo. Wow. He crushed that one. Even though it's an ounce, he really hit that one hard. Good Lord. Jason Giambi looking for his first hit, but he grounds into a double play. So going to the top of the ninth inning, Rick Ankiel still on the mound, getting a little bit low on energy. Uh, I definitely don't want to blow this game. I blew... Oh, man. If you guys saw earlier, or, or, the first Ranked Seasons video of the day, I blew it in the ninth inning. Granted, I think if, if I was using pure analog instead of meter in that video, I think I would have not choked it. Now, maybe I would have allowed more runs earlier on, but I don't think I would have choked it. Because my, my issue was I just couldn't locate with meter. I was having so much trouble, and I was just throwing so many balls, like ball after ball after ball after ball, and we walked two or three runs home in the inning. We, we gave them a three-run shot. We ended up allowing seven runs in the inning, right? And it was just really bad, and I don't think I would have walked that many people. I don't think I would have thrown that many balls if I had been using pure analog. You never know, but it's just I, I, I really I, – I, maybe I have before, but it's not, it's not often where I'm walking home runs with pure analog. I might walk a guy here or there. But I literally walked, like, I think, I, I want to say four or five people in one inning, including two or three runs home, if not more. I think it was three, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, it's like, I, I really don't think that would have happened. You never know, but I don't think it would have happened if I was using pure analog. And at the end of the day, it's a video game. It's not a big deal. Like, I, I'm sad because my record is getting worse. My rating is going down, right? But I'm... I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> I'm honestly having more fun doing those challenges and losing versus if I was just trying to win and losing. Now, if I was trying to win, maybe my rating wouldn't be this low. Maybe I wouldn't be down on this losing streak. And it's like it's not like I'm not trying to win. I, I shouldn't say that, but uh, it's harder to win using meter pitching for me or, or classic pitching or pulse pitching than it is when I'm using pure analog. That's just that's just how it is because I'm, I'm used to pure analog. It's definitely what I'm best with. 
And uh, I, I might not be on this losing streak if I had been using pure analog the whole time. My third home run I've given up. Rick Ankiel's nearly out of energy. I'm going to give him one more batter. One more batter, and then we're going to go to the bullpen. I really would like Rick Ankiel to get a complete game. Two run lead, so I don't mind leaving him in. I, I should just throw a hittable pitch. There we go. So we're winning the game. Rick Ankiel, complete game, and he had a no doubt home run. That was fun. That was that was a fun game. That was an exciting game. And the lefty team build did pretty solid. Uh, a few guys definitely carried the team. One of them being Tony Gwynn with his two homers, and then Rick Ankiel with the home run as well. And then Kyle Duke and Corey, uh, not Kyle Seager, Kyle Schorber, grabbing themselves base hits as well. Those were my only hits though. Those three guys, Tony Gwynn, and Rick Ankiel, those were the, my only guys with hits that game. But the lefty team build, we're finally breaking our losing streak, man. That makes me so happy. I've been on a losing streak for way too long, and. Uh, it's nice to finally break out of it. I, I the, Like I said, though, I'm having more fun doing these fun team builds and challenges and losing than I was using my normal team and losing. It was definitely a little bit frustrating, especially after starting the season off so well. Now, don't get me wrong. It is frustrating losing regardless, even if I'm doing a team build. But if I'm using a fun team, it's not as frustrating. And uh, I feel like I, I always describe myself as frustrated. Not, not, uh, just not always describe myself as that, but like... Not mad, not sad. I mean, sometimes sad, but not angry. Like, it's just frustrating to me is what I say, like, the most part. But if y'all enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social media, sub to the Fortnite channel. All that good stuff's down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Always remember to stay slothy. It's been Twin. Peace out. It seriously always makes me so happy. and just it, it never fails to put a smile on my face receiving a message like this, regardless of if it's after a game or if it's just randomly. Like, you guys just are always sending me super kind messages, leaving kind comments, just showing amazing support, and it never fails to put a smile on my face. So thank you guys for that. Seriously, so much. That's awesome. Yo, AJ Vondi, good game, man. Seriously, bro. G, G. Hopefully, you enjoy watching yourself in this video. That's awesome. Oh. Thank you, man. Like it, it always just makes me so happy. So thank you for that and just for anyone sending messages leaving some love a like viewing the videos Just anything man. Thank you guys for all the support recently It's it, it seriously just been insane. Thank you guys